friends, we got the Rose Brew, Jersey Joe here, Ion Out location in Las Vegas, and his best newscaster experience right now. Look at him, he's ready to go. And one thing we're about to talk about, it's almost Valentine's Day, love, romance, and sex. So the question I put out on social media is, and ask you, does it bother you if your partner wears a watch during sex? Crazy question, right? Well, you guys have a lot to say about it. We're going to give you our opinion, and we're going to read yours here in just a second. Those of you watching us live, chime in and tell us. Is it wrong or does it bother you when your partner wears a watch during sex? Crazy topic, lots to get to, so let's go to Ion out there in location by the Stratosphere in Vegas. Joel, does it bother you when your partner wears a watch during sex? Uh, as long as it's an Apple Watch, it's okay. That's about it, though. Nothing else. Ooh, an gotta, Apple gotta, Watch. Uh, keep track of how many calories you're burning. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Nobody wants to keep track of how many calories you're burning during sex. It's good for you. Trust me. Exercise is good for you, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. And I know they do say you can burn calories during sex, and yes. Does it bother me personally, though? No, not really. But you know what? It's also like you can take the wristwatch off. Most of us, number one, aren't worrying about time when you're having sex. But number two, you've got a clock radio next to you anyhow. So it's like you're already, if you're like worried about time, you're trying to like get yourself to work and, you know, you're under a tight deadline, then you already know that going in. But the thing I would say, just take a moment and enjoy the experience. That's what sex is really about, right? Enjoyment. You would think. I mean, Adam and Eve would agree with you. Well, that's the thing, too. Like, there were no wristwatch in Adam and Eve's time. You know, they only had, like, bug, you know, twigs and leaves. But, yeah. <laughs> but the other thing, too, is, like, I mean, is a wristwatch really a distraction or bothers from enjoying sex? I don't think so. I mean, it's no different than people who, like, have tattoos and stuff. There's other things to look at. And I'm the guy who actually, like, watch baseball lots of times while having sex. So, you know, like, in TV's on, so there are all other distractions. So I think the watch is the least of your problem. Yeah, I mean, it's better than playing, like, Pokemon Go, though. I mean, or, I like, for, in my case, like, one time I was watching baseball, and Jared Jeter hit a home run off of Kurt Schilling, and I, like, pushed the girl. <laughs> like, Nice. Yeah, never nice. mind. That, don't worry about it. But yeah, it's it's better than a lot of other distractions. So it's not high up on the list of like bad things. That's okay. You can play your own vo version of poking something. Never mind. Let's get your comments out there right now. You guys had a few things to say about that. So Mr. Bizarro says, only if it's an Apple Watch. Oh, Joey agrees with you. But he says, once it comes loose, you can smell the underskin sweat, like old moist skin under that watch. Now, Mr. Bizarro is right, because sometimes, you know what, that stench underneath there does build up. Yuck. You just gotta, you gotta figure out, like, where that stench is coming from. But if it's really, truly that bad, you know what, just put a little deodorant underneath that watch, that's all. It'll clean that right up, you know, nice and smell, and you'll have your smell smelling like, you know, like your old spice, and you're ready for a night out on the town. Let's go to another one of your comments right now, because Starman writes in, and he says, I want my wife to wear one that has the time and temperature, like the sign, in front of a bag. Okay, Starman, I don't think we need the time and temperature in front of the bank, but, you know, just like you said about the Apple Watches, you can actually get that. If you want the time and temperature, like you're watching the news or you're at the bank, you can actually make that happen thanks to technology. Yes. Have you, besides watching baseball or a watch, have you ever really been distracted during sex? Oh, besides that? Uh, I don't think so. If there, no, there was mean, a dog in the room, it's like, you just kick the little f*** out of the way, but that's about it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, pets definitely could be a distraction, too. I try to lock them out, but sometimes, you know, the cat sneaks in or whatever, and you know what? It gets a little crazy when they're, like, trying to get in the way when they got all the action going on. Well, we put a poll up on social media, asked you that question, so here, let's find out what you guys had to say. How do you feel if your partner wears a watch during sex? Does it bother you? 67% of you said, no, it doesn't bother you. 33% says it does. So the vast majority of our viewers, 67% of you said, no, it's not too bad. So, you know, at the end of the day, most of the people agree with us, Joel, that it's actually not that big of a deal. Those people are just happy to be doing it. That's a good point. They probably are, or at least some of them who clicked on that yes button wish that they were. Well, one button we want you to click on is that like or subscribe button down below. It's got all kinds of great stuff coming on here. And on Thursdays, kick it back with Jersey Joe. Speaking of sex, is Alexa being an overprotected girlfriend to me? Some of the crazy things she tells me about love just in time for Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's a crazy edition of Kick It Back with Jersey Joe Thursday. You don't want to miss that one. So, uh, all right, well, you know what? You know what? You put the question out about sex there. You never know what these kind of questions are going to do on social media. But it's a conversation just like, you know, more people have out and about at a bar over beers. And that's where you're at right now, outside of a bar. I am. I would be inside of a dream uh, if we could hear inside there. <laughs> that's all right. No problem. We'll wrap up this show. We want to make sure you get a drink. We want to thank you for joining us to drink our live viewers. Jersey Joe, I am outside on location. And we'll see you next time, I hope.